Hello Sugarlights! Here are three ways on how to use gold luster dust. Fill a bowl with hot water, hold your fondant pieces over it until it is steamed and it is just a little bit moist. Using a paintbrush, proceed to dust on your luster dust powder. Any basic clothes steamer would work just as well. Here I am adding a, about a quarter teaspoon of the luster dust into a bag to dust onto the chocolate spheres. Look at that, gold chocolate spheres. Here I've chilled the buttercream and I'm dusting on the gold luster dust to highlight the design. So this is the gold luster dust that I use. Please make sure your gold luster dust is completely edible food color. I have a special container into which I mix my gold luster dust paint. In order to form a paint, you may use lemon juice, rose water spirit, white vinegar, water, vanilla essence or vegetable oil. Find a medium that suits you. Add a quarter teaspoon of the gold luster dust to your container with a few drops of your medium. You want to form a paint-like consistency. See, this is too thin and is not going to paint on very well. Simply add more gold to dust to get your paint consistency. This is a paint-like consistency. Change the color of the sprinkles on this cake by dabbing the paint onto the cake. Paint a chocolate drip gold. Some painting may require two coats. Allow the first coat to dry before applying the second coat. These are fondant cake toppers that are being painted. Always remember, the gold paint needs to dry. Here we have chocolate splattered onto fondant, which we are painting gold. Imprint your fondant and lightly brush with the gold paint to bring out the impression. This gold luster dust paint allows you to change the color of anything. Ganache, buttercream, cream, 
add a touch of gold to this unicorn cake. Here we have edible lace that's been painted gold. And even fresh flowers and leaves. Fresh fruits can also be painted gold. The thin paint consistency can be splattered onto the cake. Add a touch of elegance as well. Biscuits. Macarons. If you have learned something from my tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more cake decorating tutorials and recipes. Let me know your preference, steaming, dusting or painting. Thank you for watching.